Hello everybody, Tegan here with High Point. ZWO has just announced the arrival of the Seastar S30, a smaller, more powerful version of the original Seastar, the S50. As always, we're going to have a full review and experience over the Seastar S30 when we get our hands on it, so make sure you like and subscribe because you're not gonna wanna miss that. Let's take a dive into the Seastar S30 and see what it has to offer. First and foremost, the Seastar S30 is going to have a 30mm 3-element refractor using the same ED or extra low dispersion glass that is found on the S50, but with a shorter focal length at 150mm. The S30 will also include a secondary lens and sensor. These will likely be used for landscape photography and daytime photography. Now the main imaging sensor is a Sony Starvis IMX662 with lower read noise and 3.5 times the well depth than the sensor that was used with the S50. Ultimately, this means we can expect cleaner images and better color representation. And with the shorter focal length, we can expect to see longer exposure lengths without star trailing when compared to the S50 as well. The combination of a wider field of view and a vastly improved sensor will ultimately help maximize the color, detail, and richness of the stars throughout your image. All which are very welcome improvements offered by ZWO. Now the S30 does come with the same internal filters that the S50 came with. A UV IR cut filter, a dual narrowband filter, and a dark filter. In addition, the included external solar filter has been upgraded to a magnetic connection instead of a pressure fit. This is ultimately going to offer a more secure and safer method of imaging and viewing the sun. Additionally, it comes in at just over 3.6 pounds with the same internal lithium rechargeable battery, and it does come with a tripod included, but one that is significantly smaller than the one included with the S50. If you do want to replace the tripod for a larger, more sturdy one, you can do that because the Seastar S30 does have 3 8 threads on the bottom. This is also a great opportunity to utilize the Aperture Leveler as the S30 tripod doesn't look like it can be adjusted for uneven ground. So as with the S50, the S30 will include several different imaging modes, a lunar mode, a solar, a deep sky, and a scenic mode, which may also include an AI object tracking mode, but at the time of this video, this has yet to be confirmed. It's going to have a 64 gigabyte internal storage. It's gonna offer dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, and you'll have access to several different types of imaging files, including FITS, JPEG, and AVI video files. Lastly, we can expect AI noise reduction and post-processing in app, which is a new feature to the ZWO app, and you'll also have access to the mosaic mode that is now offered with the ZWO S50. And with that, ZWO will continue to update and improve an already incredible user-friendly and easy-to-use app. If you want more information on the ZWO Seastar S30, take a look in the description. The link will bring you straight to the product page on High Point Scientific's website. You can also use this link to pre-order your ZWO Seastar S30 as they are now available for pre-order at the time of this video. Again, be sure to like and subscribe as we will put out a full product review when we get our hands on the S30 and it's going to be one that you will not want to miss. Again, I'm Tegan with High Point. Thank you so much and clear skies.